It's Britney, bitch. And on Saturday, we plan cars on their nuts. Four wheel gap. I'm so hyped. Five, that me casa. Me fajaj casa. And we about to do the springs, bro. For this operation, you will need a Arizona iced tea, a small bag of Blue Ranch Doritos, and triple square bits. With these items, you can complete <laughs> any lowering spring. You were just rolling. I knew it. Hey, you see those? What are those, Christopher? I have no clue. You know what those are? What are they? You want to know what those are? Okay, what are they? What are they? Those are almonds. Dude, really? It's a box of almonds. Delightful. Are you that because someone comments on your video and said you need almonds in your video? <laughs> <laughs> Got him! It's Britney, bitch. Imagine I jumped over there and killed it. We out here, brothers. So what we're gonna end up doing, instead of, we're gonna try something different because what everybody does is they pull the axle and then drop tie rod and everything else, and they drop it down. Uh, I think we're just gonna pull the caliper and then just do the opposite end and just pull it out like that. Whether it's easier or harder, I'm not sure, but we're gonna try it like that. And that's where we're at right now. Pasha! Okay, let's go, boy! Let's go, boy! Yo, shout out to Papa Ashline for giving me a hand, though. This was taking so much longer if you didn't help me. We got the front done, boys. We got the front done. Look at that. It's gonna settle a little bit more, too. I still have the e brake on, so it hasn't even, it's still a little hunched up. Can't really see this side. Too dark. Just kidding. Yo, I'm hyped! I'm hyped! Let's go. It's not even that low. We'll go lower eventually, but for now, get that fitment looking a little bit better. Damn, we're gonna be, we're gonna be dragging flaps, bro. We're gonna be dragging flaps. We only got three inches from the mud flap. Yo, that monster truck fitment though, check that out. I think what we should do is raise the rear and lower the front. Yeah. <laughs> so sick. Let me see if I can use this light. Yo, let's go. Sorry, it's dark. Um, yeah, it's getting dark fast. It's getting dark around six o'clock, and it's uh, about approximately about seven seven o'clock. So I'll probably do this video. I'll put it up uh, tomorrow afternoon. I'll give you guys a couple of little uh, clips in the morning, unless I can find somewhere lit. I might stop at the gas station. I'll do a little walk around. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do that. I'm so. Hyped. Ooh, you little sexy, you little, mm, mm, little sexy thing. Don't forget, guys, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more. We got more parts coming soon, bros. More parts coming soon. Let's go. Manito? You're mine forever. Yo, Bandit, peep the fitment. What do you think on the fitment, bro? He's like, oh my god, I love it. He's like, if it was lower, it'd be better. <laughs> Roughly about, about one paw in there. <laughs> Sick. You want to say that again? Hmm? No. Tell me. No. <laughs> Tell me with my grubby hands right near you. Look at them. Get those nasty. I can't say much. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Bendy. Ew. His paws are worse. Nasty hoe. <laughs> those peep it. Peep it. Mmm. monster truck height though keep it high in the rear what do we think let me know in the comments <sighs> settled a little bit it's not even two fingers not even two one and a half bruh on the last one boys on the last one Yo. I just want to get a little Get a little shot in the light. Yo, it looks sick. Oh, 
now that you're not in the dirt, this is higher, right? Well, yeah. Also, the ground's a little slanted. Sure. A2. Action. I'm so tired, oh my god. We were there so late. It didn't actually take that long, like the whole thing itself, but... <sighs> so just like rolling around under a car for like four or five hours is like exhausting. Oh my god, girl, you're looking good. Let's go. That's what we'd like to see. Much better. Much better. So it was super dark and I didn't get to uh, go over like doing everything on video and I feel like it's just kind of useless because you can't really always have the camera like in the exact spot that you need it. So I'm going to cut to a clip of me online and then I'm going to look up some like simple pictures and I'll just go over exactly how I did it. It was actually super easy. It's just kind of time consuming and luckily I had my dad with me because he was had an extra set of hands. And it definitely helps. Um, there's a couple things like when you're dropping the struts, you kind of it's easier to have somebody hold it while you drop the 13 mils on the top. But yeah, so I'll cut to that. All right, just gonna give you guys a quick explanation of what I did. So which one is this? So if the rear is super easy. You have uh, these two 17 mils right here. Uh, this one just connects straight to the strut and this one goes right to your caliper. So wait, the best way to do is just put your jack right here, jack up the car, and then put another one right under here and get it right under the control arm. And then you kind of just go up and down and kind of teeter it to work out each one of these bolts. So you pull these two, I think they're both 17 mils. And then you have, uh, I want to say this one's a 13 and it hooks to your sway bar arm and you just kind of go up and down with all these bolts and make sure they all come out. Uh, the whole control arm swings down and then you can pull the spring out and that one's as easy as that. And the front is, uh, what do we do here? So you have two sensors. You have one on um, the strut itself, and then there's one down right behind the caliper. You pull that. There's a little 10, uh, 10 millimeter right here that holds the caliper line on. So what we did is we pulled uh, the caliper off itself and then pulled the axle nut. And then once we had the tie rod unhooked here and the uh, steering arm unhooked and you have everything basically unhooked you just pull this whole thing out so instead of instead of loosening this right here which is what everybody does and uh, unhooking the axle back here we kind of did the other way around and we pulled this whole assembly out all together and then you just pull the uh, 13s off the top hat and pull the whole thing out and swap them so that's pretty much all we did uh, we just did it a little differently because I didn't have the exact triple square bit for this to uh, open up the knuckle on the clamp so we did it the other way around and just loosened the axle itself and pulled the whole thing all together. It's just a little bit hard. It's a little easier if you have two people because uh, you have to pull the whole thing. So, boom. Yo, it looks so good. I'm so happy. Just gotta wipe it down. But much better, much better. Yo, for the money, these are like, what, like 240 bucks with shipping. These are kind of the best alternative if you're not trying to do coilovers because you're trying to go a little bit cheaper. And, um, Next day or two, I'll have a full, uh, what do you call it? I'll do a uh, full review on these, uh, how they ride, how they feel, overall, how easy they are to install, everything like that. So, with that, I will bring this video to an end. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. I got a lot more content coming. And if you found this video helpful or you liked watching me lower my car, yeah, because that was cringy. Take two. Action. If you found this video helpful, leave a like, leave a comment. Other than that, guys, I'm out. I'm tired. Peace. Mm -hmm.